don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so we all know the ghana black satellites are preparing to face burkina faso uh, tomorrow in the final of the wafu under 20 zone b competition now the ghana black satellites have done marvelously well so far in this competition they have been great to say the least and qualifying for the under 20 afcon that will be held in mauritania next year 2021 was one of their topmost targets they have done that it hasn't been all plain sailing but the boys have impressed they've got the results they've qualified and now to put the icing on the cake with a trophy win yesterday they resumed a training abdul karim zito has spoken ahead of the final ibrahim dalad who is also uh, the goalkeeper first choice goalkeeper for the under 20 side has spoken i'll be reading to you the transcripts of what they said today's bulletin as usual subscribe if you haven't and click on the notification bell to get more updates so i'll just jump right into it and we all know the ghana under 20 side have been great in this tournament so far and they played their first game against nigeria which eventually qualified them for the next stage which was a semi-final a seven-team tournament and they made it to the semi-final with their first win the second game they lost 1-0 to Cote d'ivoire but after that game the coach said the aim was achieved yes they would have wanted to win yes their aim was not to lose but it had been achieved so he wouldn't go worry his head over that so much the next aim was to make it to mauritania and that would mean beating niger in the semi-final niger they did beat albeit the fact that they had a controversial so who beat ivory coast in their semi-final 4-1 at uh, the final that's tomorrow uh, 3 p.m at gmt now ahead of that game ibrahim danlad who is the first choice goalkeeper of the side has spoken uh, he is expectant and he's hoping that the team can be inspired more to win uh, the trophy the win on penalties was great but he wants uh, to make it and to make it into the cup final and win it eventually now he said initially the very big task was to secure qualification to mauritania and that was that has been attained and now the next step is to fight hard and win the trophy for ghana and the president who has been re-elected in this recent peaceful election so the jubilation we had is now in the past but we have started to engage each other to work hard to bring the trophy to ghana and now ghana opened the tournament in three team group with a 1-0 win over nigeria as i said the opening day win though was enough to send them through the coach abdul karim zito has also spoken and he's already fulfilled before final showdown at the under 20 wafu zone b and now we came for the qualification to the 2021 under 20 half court after securing that we are going to fight for the cup personally i am okay with the qualification but if we are also able to win the cup, that is great. <laughs> we are not going to relax in our pursuit for the ultimate. We will go all out to win the trophy. Burkina Faso, meanwhile, beat their, their counterparts who are Ivory Coast 4-1 in their semi-final. Ghana's shootout win was remarkable considering the nation's penalty rules at various international competitions. Abdul Karim Zito had this to say, Pen penalties are often Ghana's bane. Uh, so as part of the training, penalties were practiced at the end of every training session. I have to say, I have always been saying that penalties can be learned, they can be taught. The technique of taking penalty kicks can be taught. And Abdul Karim here because he is saying clearly here that we tried this severally before leaving Ghana for the tournament. After every single training, Coach Ace Apple has also confirmed that and said Abdul Karim Zito was always training penalties because it is a possibility in this kind of tournament. Always a possibility. So I'm happy the boys took this seriously and they are doing well in this penalty shootout. The finals might end up in another penalty shootout. Ghana took five penalties and were successful in all of them. That is quite rare for the Ghana national teams, not at all levels, I have to say at the under 23 level we saw what happened last year now the goalkeeper Esso, the introduced for Dan Ladd is good at taking penalties and also his frame makes him 
good option to scare opponents in shootout scenarios so that's why he made that change in the dying embers of the game if you watch the game you realize that getting to the end ibrahim danlad was replaced um, in the last minute of extra at time he said so we always leave one change available for such an instance so that's what he said it is something we practice at training and you can see that for once we we're able to score all our kicks we were repeating this all the time we were setting of those who would take the kicks in the final ghana is set to take on burkina faso and it is also possible that it will lead to a penalty shootout i am happy the under 20 side have been pragmatic have taken the steps to ensure that they they know how to take penalties they know they are penalty kick takers beforehand before the games even start i'm really excited by this coach abdul karim zito and it is great to see that ghana is really really having someone as pragmatic as this the other coaches have to learn from this i have to say penalty kicks can be taught the art of taking penalty kicks it is a science and an art they can all be taught they can all be taught now that the 20 afcon next year the top four nations will be awarded with tickets to represent the continent at the 2021 fifa under 20 world cup in indonesia so the ultimate aim is the under 20 world cup and to get there you need to get to the under 20 afcon job have done at the under 20 afcon ghana has to make it to the semi-final We'll see what happens in 2021 uh, when the Ghana Black Satellites move into the under 20 AFCON in Mauritania. So that has been it for today. The Ghana Black Satellites returned to training yesterday. Karim Zito, you heard from him. They practice penalties every day after every training session. We also heard uh, from Ibrahim Dalad on their aim and what they want to do. They want to win the trophy, bring it back home, celebrate that victory after our peaceful elections. They want to make it more interesting and fun this festive season is going to be great should ghana win it and i'm looking forward to their game tomorrow this channel will bring you the highlights as we usually do so that has been it for today. let me know your thoughts in the comments box on karim zito practicing penalty kicks all the time and ibrahim danlad's comments of what they hope to achieve i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day have a great weekend enjoy